I was meeting with a client the other day after the initial offer from the insurance company and his response to me was, what about my pain and suffering? Hang on a moment and I'll explain pain and suffering damages in Indiana. Hi, I'm Guy DiMartino, a Northwest Indiana personal injury lawyer and author of a guide to Indiana car accident claims. If you are injured because of the negligence of somebody else, under the law you are entitled to money for your pain, suffering, and loss of the quality and enjoyment of your life. Money for pain and suffering falls into the category called non-economic damages. The difference between a medical expense and pain and suffering is that an insurance adjuster or jury cannot see pain and suffering. That brings up the question, how do we prove pain and suffering? We prove pain and suffering by telling your story. Your story must be supported by the facts in the medical records, statements of non-interested parties like coworkers, neighbors, or friends. By and far though, the most important part of the pain and suffering claim is you. Insurance companies and juries are skeptical of this type of claim, so your behavior and the way you portray yourself will make a big difference. Insurance companies and juries do not want to give whiners money. So if you want a strong pain and suffering claim, you have to be a good actor. You have to follow your doctor's advice. You have to report how the injury has impacted your activities of daily living. We have to describe how activities that you were no longer able to do or activities that you are ha now have to modify doing in order to get by with your life. We have to frame you as somebody who is trying to overcome this injury as opposed to somebody who has become a victim. If you have any questions about pain and suffering damages after an Indiana personal injury matter, you can always give me a call or shoot me an email. I am Guy DiMartino. Meeting you at the intersection of law and medicine. Have a nice day.